Leanne, and this is my little dog, Scoot. And y'all have met Scoot a couple of times so far, but there's something I've not told y'all about, about Scoot. Scoot has a psychic abilities when it comes to makeup. He can look at two different pieces of makeup and tell you which is going to be better between the two. And so this week, I was going to review two different types of eyeshadow sticks. And I thought I would show y'all Scoot's abilities before, um, before I got started. So now... I was going to review one is the Revlon Color Stay Eyeshadow Cream Stick. Um, it has two colors. This is the color Torch. It comes with a pretty flesh tone end and a smoky brown end. And I'm also reviewing the new Clinique Chubby Sticks Shadow Tint for Eyes. This is in the color Ample Amber. And I also have the color uh, Lavish Lilac. So I'm going to show both of these to Scoot. And he's going to predict which one, um, which one I'm going to like better of the two. And I'll show y'all how he can do that. Um, but Oh, he's sleepy. Um, but uh, I've not discussed my findings with Scoot. So he doesn't know yet which one I liked better of the two. So I'll show these two to Scoot. Scoot, here's the Revlon one. Oh, he's interested, but not, not a lot of interest. And here is the Clinique one in Lavish. Oh, he's giving it kisses. You like that one? Yes. Okay. So Scoot's pick was the Clinique version of the eyeshadow stick. So thank you, Scoot. That's how Scoot can tell me the difference in any two makeup products. He just looks at the two, and whichever one he gives kisses to, that's the one that, that I'll like better between the two. So thank you, Scoot, for helping us with your psychic abilities. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hi, guys. Today I'm going to be talking about two different eyeshadow sticks that um, I've come across. A, um, a long time ago, maybe a good six months ago, I heard that Clinique was going to be releasing a, um, a shadow stick, much like their, um, their moisturizing chubby lip balms. This is a chubby eyeshadow stick. And so here is one of their chubby lip balms. I've been a fan of these for a, probably a couple of years. I think I have like every color this comes in or close to it. But um, I'm a big fan of these. And um, I heard that they were going to be releasing a chubby shadow stick that's, um, that looks the same. This is the shadow stick. This is the lip balm. So I was kind of excited about that. Um, and I kept waiting and waiting to hear that it had come out. And I had not heard that. And so in February, I heard, you know, I got an email that said, hey, the shadow sticks have come out. And if you buy two, then you get free shipping. So I was like, awesome, finally. And so I went on and ordered two of them. I got Lavish Lilac and Ample Amber. And so I was very excited when I got them in. I love cream eyeshadows, and I was excited about this formula in particular since it is my beloved um, Clinique. Clinique was one of the very first brands of makeup that I ever wore. And so back when I was like 14, 15, when my mom started letting me um, wear like the very basics of makeup, um, she took me to the Clinique counter and I got several things. And since then, Clinique has been like one of my go-tos. Um, I've branched out, of course, over time. But I still have a soft spot in my heart for Clinique. And so um, this, I was particularly excited about this when I saw that it had finally come out. And so when I got it in, I was looking at it and I was very excited about it. And I was like, that looks, the top of this looks an awful lot like the Revlon eyeshadow sticks that I have seen advertised. I've seen many people on YouTube review these and get rave reviews, but I never had to try it, tried it. So this is the Revlon version and this is the Clinique version. And look how similar those look side by side. They look like they could be the same thing in different packaging. And so that always kind of um, is always something I'm curious about. Did they just repackage the same thing and I could get it cheaper going with a drugstore brand than from a higher end brand? 
And so um, I went and purchased the Revlon Color Stay Smoky Shadow Stick. And I thought, well, I'll do this like a back-to-back, side-to-side comparison. And so I wore the Revlon Shadow Stick for several days, tried it several di different ways, did the same thing for Clin the Clinique one, and I want to tell you what um, I thought about that. Of course, you've already seen Scoot's review, and so we know that Scoot said that the winner would be Clinique. And so the all-knowing psychic ability of Scoot has come out to be correct. So, um... <laughs> Sorry, I've just got to throw Scoot in there whenever I can um, because he's so cute and sweet. Who could not love Scoot? But anyway, um, so the Smoky Shadow Stick comes with two uh, two sides on it. So it's a eight ninety nine, but you get two shadows. And I've heard many good YouTube reviews, people that just rave about this. And so I was surprised when I put it on that this did not work for me. I do not have overly oily eyelids. And so I figured it would work just fine. But um, I tried it with three or four different bases. I think three different eyeshadow bases. The first time I tried it with um, the Urban Decay um, Primer Potion, the one that's in the nude color, and um, it creased that day. And I thought, I mean, creased badly, like almost came off of my eyeballs. It was like a strange little line of shadow was all that was left. So I was like, okay, it wasn't like a little sample size primer. And so I figured, well, that was just a bad primer. It's not one that I use a lot. So I came back and I used it with my go-to eyeshadow primer that I've been using, the, the Lancome in Nude. It's like the Paint Pots, um, except it's a stickier consistency. I like this one quite a bit more. But um, anyway, I tried it with this and it still creased on me. I was like, that's, that's odd. And so I went back and tried it with a third a primer and so I used my regular Decay shadow primer that I love and use all the time and it still creased. I've had eyeshadows crease on me in the past but not very often. I think I've only encountered that maybe twice ever and I use tons of eyeshadow sticks and so and, and pots of the cream eyeshadows and I've only I encountered it once actually with the Revlon product. Now that I think about it, the ones that come in the little palette with four or five in it. Okay, so these are the ones that Chris told me before. And they're the Revlon, um, Revlon Illuminance Cream Shadows. And so, but I had heard not great reviews about these. And so, um, I figured, no big, just cut my losses there. But now with the second one, um, as one of the only other ones that's ever creased on me, maybe I just need to steer clear of the Revlon cream shadows for a while. Apparently their formulas do not like my eyelids for some reason. So um, anyway, so then I wore the Clinique version several times. Never had it crease. Um, I'm really pretty impressed with them. They are quite a bit more expensive for the Revlon version. You got two colors for $8.99. For the Clinique version, you get one color for $16. Of course, Clinique is going to be more expensive than Revlon every time. I always wait until I can get their gift with purchases, usually. And so that's what I'll be doing. I'm going to be using these two in the meantime. They're lovely shades. This is the Lavish Lilac, and I'll show you a swatch of it real quick. It's a really pretty lilac-y color, obviously. Really pretty shade. Um, it has a little tiny bit of metallic finish to it. Don't let that scare you off. It's just enough to be a little shiny. I have it on right now. It just gives you kind of a little smoky quality that I think is really cute. But it's not overly smoky. It's not something I would be hesitant to wear to work. This one is Ample Amber. Let me show you a swatch of it really quick. These are super creamy to go on. You can see when I do that, it just glides on really, really creamy. Pretty amber color. It has a little bit of a shine to it, a little bit of sparkle in it. Um, it's not overly sparkly. Um, really pretty color. I've enjoyed this one and I've used it um, uh, several days this week. I've not had any. I tried it without um, primer. It still didn't crease on me. So I have to say I'm a fan of these. I will be getting more colors when they do their, usually I think in the spring, they'll do a gift with purchase. And so I'll wait until then and then pick up several more colors of them probably. 
Um, I know that they come in 12 colors. They've got some really pretty neutrals. They've got some pretty green colors that I was on and a really pretty pink color. They've got a couple of blues. Um, so I'm excited to try more of those in the future. I would have the clear winner as the Clinique as my buddy Scoot predicted. I should just listen to him, take him into the makeup store with me, have him tell me which ones are good ones. Um, I think they might would look at me kind of funny for that. Anyway, okay, well thank you guys for watching and I will see you soon. If you would like to see any other products done back to back, you know, one versus the other type for me to like try out and review both of them, um, please let me know. I really appreciate any suggestions to help me come up with ideas for more videos. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.